Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well today I want to do some more solar experiments and uh, we're out here in the bright sunshine but there are a few clouds in the sky so let's just see if I can show you all the examples of what I want to show you. Let's start off with the Fresnel lens. Now we know that I carry a wallet Fresnel lens So we'll try this one out. And then there's the page magnifier that you can buy at Staples for $7. This is incredibly powerful. So we'll try this one out also. But I also have a big 48 inch Fresnel lens which came out of a rear projection TV. And it is unbelievably powerful so let's take some pine needles and uh, see if we can uh, try it out first thing how's that for a Fresnel lens And we don't have full sun or else that would have that have been a flame a, a long time ago. And there goes the flames. Alright. Now it's gonna be just about as easy with this uh, page magnifier. Gonna be just about as easy. Maybe even easier because you can control the focal point. So you see the Fresnel lenses are very powerful. And now we'll try the pocket for now. Try it. There we go. Took a little bit of time. I'm always amazed at how powerful the sun is. All right. Let's go for Let's go for this concave mirror. Now that's an eight times magnifier there. So it is collecting the sun's rays and then shooting it out to a focal point up in here. And if you remember my other video on this, that's very powerful too. Let's see how long that takes. figure out where the focal point is at.
Right. Now, on our alcohol stove, where I polish the bottom up, I'll use some uh, charred punk wood on that. Can you see it? I didn't realize it was lit until I started started feeling some heat on my fingers. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and try the uh, parabolic mirror inside of this flashlight. Now I've never tried this with char material, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. As long as I get the right size to stick up in there. Something like this, maybe.
And what's left? Oh, let's not forget this tablespoon. All right, let's try the vase full of water. See if we can ignite the charred punk wood with it. We'll let it cook a little bit longer after it looks like it's ignited. Yeah, we got it that time. I don't know how much you can see. Well, these new pine needles, they just like to smoke, don't they? Finally. Alright, I had to wait for the sun to get lower in the sky. Let's try this again. Um, and I've switched over to char cloth because I know what it'll do. First thing I want to find the hottest focal point with my finger. If you can see that, nope. Yeah. Oop, there goes the sun behind the clouds. All right, let's give it another try. That's still not full sun. Man, that is so hot right there, it should ignite it. Finally, I'll give you a shot of the table over here. All right, y'all. Solar ignitions. It's one of my. It's my very favorite out of all the fire techniques that I know. All right, I appreciate y'all joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.